two vocalists and rhythm and bass and then a keyboard down here. And we realised when we sort of saw it in this context that this was sort of, this made sense because as you manipulated the cube as the audience member, you had this experience of kind of like mixing the song and all the audio kind of worked together anyway. Because what's happening when I turn it is that obviously I'm only hearing the audio from the face that's in view, right? So when you, when you think about the audio of the whole cube as the different bits of the audio of the song, then suddenly they kind of all mix together anyway and you have this sort of almost like choose your own adventure-ish kind of path um, through it. Um, so that's really where it kind of, where the idea kind of just felt like it kind of worked. And then, and then what happened was that we approached, um, we were actually working with a, I'll come back to that one in a second. We were working with a, um, a festival in Sydney um, called Semi Permanent and it's a festival for like arts and design basically. And they said, well, we'd, we'd, quite like to, um, we'd quite like to put this cube thing on it at, at, at our show, and what, what video should we put on it? And it was at that point that we had the idea of commissioning a kind of a, a short film, I guess you'd sort of call it, um, which would have you know, characters and different scenes and a plot. Um, but more importantly, what it would have is the ability for these characters to kind of move around the different faces of the, of the cube. So if you watch this guy, he slides quite a lot. And if I sort of follow him over here, then he's sort of making his way from one face to another.